Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video, which will be the first video of a new playlist on my channel where we will talk about Jitbag Compose, the new UI tool for building UI in Android. In this video, we'll talk about Jitbag Compose, what is that, then we will talk about why you should learn Jitbag Compose, then I will show you the difference between Jitbag Compose and XML, which is the old way of building UI components in Android. And before I start this video, I just want to talk a little bit about this playlist. So in this Jitbag Compose playlist, I want to take you from zero, from none in Jitbag Compose until you master this new UI toolkit. So if you are a complete beginner, this playlist is very good for you. And in this playlist, you will actually apply what you learn. So this is the main goal of this playlist, not just theoretical part. So you'll actually apply what you learn. We're going to build cool screens together, we're gonna build custom UIs, we're gonna build a lot of new things, a lot of exciting things in this playlist. And as you know, all of my content is for free, so I expect a little bit of support from you. Click the like button, share this playlist on forums, Facebook forums, Twitter, wherever, just support me with that. And you can also support me by subscribing to my channel. This is actually the biggest support that you can do. Okay, enough talking. Let's start this playlist and start the first video of this playlist talking about Jitbag Compose. So starting with the first question, what is Jitbag Compose? Well, Jitbag Compose is a modern toolkit used to build user interfaces for Android apps using Kotlin. Now, mark my words, using Kotlin. We won't use XML anymore. If you're familiar with XML, if you're not, it's okay, don't worry about it. So just build UI without using XML, it's all with Kotlin. And you might ask yourself now, can we do this with Java? The answer is no. It's only actually built for Kotlin. So if you want to learn Jitbag Compose, you need to know Kotlin. And to build UI with Jitbag Compose, all you need to do is to describe your UI using some functions, some Kotlin functions, which are called composables. Don't worry about this name, we'll study it later, but that's what it's called, composables. So you define some functions and the rest is on compose. You just describe what your UI looks like and Jitbag Compose will take care of that and will place your UI as you actually describe it. And the first Jitbag Compose version, which was 1.0, was released in 2021 by Google. And since then, Jitbag Compose got much support. So now you can find many libraries that deal with Jitbag Compose. And uh, yeah, so Jitbag Compose now is very strong. Moving to the next section of this video, why Compose? Why you should learn Jitbag Compose? Well, the first reason here is simplicity. Once you actually get used to Jitbag Compose, you will realize how simple it is to build any custom UI component you want. And you could also build very beautiful screens, like any design, you can just convert that into uh, an application using Jitbag Compose. And if you want to compare that with XML, Compose here is a clear winner. Let's actually take this short comparison between uh, Compose and XML. Let's say you have an alert dialog and you want to just add corner radius to that alert dialog. In Compose, you could actually do that with less than a line. But in, in, in XML, you need a lot of things. And I personally don't know how to do that. Like I just go and Google it. So in XML, it's possible, but it's very hard. In Compose, you can do that with a very short, like maybe one function. Yeah, just with just a function. You can do that with a function. In XML, that's not possible. Now, the second reason of why should you learn Jitbag Compose is reusability. Now, when it comes to reusability in Jitbag Compose, it's very, very convenient. Like any UI component, any UI screen that you write with Jitbag Compose is reusable across your app. Unlike XML, which is terrible at reusability. Now, another reason why you should learn Jitbag Compose is actually Jitbag Compose is not only used to develop Android UI. You can also build UI for desktop apps. You can build uh, websites using Jitbag Compose. So yeah, you can actually use your knowledge that you learn in Android and just build applications that work on computer and websites just using the same knowledge that you know from Android. But of course, only if you know Jitbag Compose. Now, moving to the last section we have in this video, Compose versus XML. Well, we want to compare between those things. The first thing we want to consider is the performance. Now, the performance of Compose is 
higher than XML. So when we actually shift to an alternative, that alternative should be actually better. And that's why Compose, they created Compose to be better than XML in performance. And the reason of why Jitbug Compose has a better performance than XML is that Jitbug Compose uses reactive programming. So if something changed in the screen, Jitbug Compose is smart enough to just find out what thing has changed in the UI and it's just gonna change the thing that have changed in the UI. So the other elements that we have in the screen will not actually be changed and that's the main reason why is Compose faster than XML. Now I also have another comparison here just to to demonstrate to you that Compose is way better than XML. Uh, actually, Compose requires you to write less code. Let's take actually this example to demonstrate that. Uh, we're just gonna compare the amount of code that we need to write to implement this list of names. As you could see, it's just a list of names. We're just gonna write this in XML, then write it in Compose. First thing, I wrote this in XML and First thing, we want to just build a list in uh, XML. You want to define a recycle view inside your design. So that actually took five lines of code. Then I defined the recycle view item, the design of that, which also took five lines. Then I created the adapter, which actually took like 16 lines. So if we add that up, we'll get uh, 26 lines of code. So it actually took like 26 lines of code to just to create a simple list that shows some text. <laughs> Now let's see how to create that with Compose. As you can see, we have this picture and that's it. Only this, only these three lines, we were able to just show a list of strings and that only took three lines. Now you comparing 26 lines with three lines, this is a very, very interesting thing. I think this is enough uh, talking and this example just tell you why you should learn Jitbag Compose. Okay guys, so this is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching this one. In the next video, I'm gonna cover the basics about Jitbag Compose and we will actually start right Jitbag Compose code. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a great day. Catch you in the next video.